Hey guys, I am here for, and Jeremy's here too. Finally got another video to make. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a little messy in here, but yeah, that's how a garage should be. Problems. Yeah. So, let's start off with this engine. Well, first, we should explain what happened to the truck. Okay. We should explain that to these guys. So, last video you saw, we did a cold start in the winter yeah. with the, um, what we thought was a 400. Um, no, it's a 400 small block. Okay. We thought it's a four bolt main. We thought it's a full bolt main. It's not. But the 400 small block, that's the last engine you saw in here. And I'll let you explain. So, I finally got this on the road. And, and a few days later, or a few weeks later, I don't know when, um, I got it inspected and everything. So, uh, and I blew the motor up. Yep. Which is right there. That's a 400 small block. Yep. And we... So, I... We suspect that the oil pump was going in it. Yeah, the pressure itself, is, I think it was going low. Yeah, it wasn't really. It has oil in it. Yeah, the, the pump but was probably I failing. I think the fuel, uh, not fuel, uh, oil pump was bad. Yeah, yep. So, I blew the, I mean, not blew it up, but kind of like uh, one of these. Yeah, you're, um, I guess they're called... They're like races, but yeah. has bearings. Yeah. On it's here, got the thin, yeah. And all scored up. This is not the can part, but I'll show you. The can we took off, and we saw it inside. That's all the bearings. Yep, the bearings just blew apart because of the lack of oil. Yeah. So that was the end of that engine. <laughs> yeah, that's safe for parts. And then we bought this engine here. For 400 bucks, two engines. One's already gone. We scrap. We scrapped the other one already, but. And this one was screwed. Yep. It was the. Uh, it was fun bearing too. Yep. Just like this one. Yep. The guy was. Uh, and we didn't know the timing chain was loose. Yep. Not supposed to. Yep. The guy kind of screwed them over on that one. Yeah. But luckily, it came with expensive parts like a distributor. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, at least you get to keep some parts the, off of it. No, the intake right there. Yeah. So. Now. This. <laughs> you bought the engine for 600 bucks. This came with it on that red engine. On that second buy over there. Yeah. This intake and carburetor came off of the orange engine. The original engine. or Yeah. yeah. The rest of it is all original. The, put the cap is off. The cap and rotor is off the orange. The orange one too. The original one. Yeah. But um. Yeah, most likely it's all original. And this came off the. Um, uh, this engine here. Oh, that was on this one. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This engine used to be blue and gray. Mm-hmm. With painted Chevy orange. Yep. Make it look nicer. And it came out of a blazer, correct? It came out of a. 1974 K5 Blazer. K5 means 1500. Okay. Um, this is definitely 350 4-bolt main. Yep, which is what we want. And it has those, uh, what, the rollers on the valves? Yeah. Yep. The, on top here. On top of each valve? Yeah. I'll show you. Well, kind of not like these, but they're different. I didn't know what they were. These we are the same, it. but the rollers on top of here. There's rollers on the valve yeah. um, rods themselves. Yes. And it's a better design. Yeah, better design. So, anyways. I, oh. My dad just fixed this off. With the weld. There's yeah. a crack in it. Yeah, it was cracked. It's not bad. That should hold. It's like, you know. Right now, there's just. Just open headers. Yes. <laughs> so without further ado. So it has now it has antifreeze and oil leak. Oh well, yeah. There's a pinch hole in this here. Yep. Like about there. That's why it's got all the, the windshield. When you're driving, it sprays over the windshield. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> and there's an oil leak between the timing cover and the uh, oil pan. 
Not a big deal. That's all. Drop a pad down where you sail at. Correct. But you can run it, but not that long. Yeah. Because if you get so hot and get thinner and stuff. It Correct. Weeks. Yeah. That's why it's all over the floor. That's why it's all over this garage. And then I gotta install this fuel pump. Oh yeah. This is about to go bad, so. I want to hear it run. We, I think they want to hear it run. They've heard us talk for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, they want to oh, hear this I'm thing talk. Couple things from AutoZone. Got a tachometer, which it doesn't have. And we also have a oil, or, or the oil pressure gauge you're going to hook up, correct? This and that and that. Yeah. The oil. The voltmeter. And temperature. The temperature gauge we want, yeah. too. All right, Jason. Uh, start this truck. How long has this been sitting now? Four, four, one. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. I know why. The choke. You see the choke? That's the throttle. Make sure that's closed. Yep. It's it's closed. Can't run it too long right now. Yeah. But we gotta fix those leaks. No smoke. Nope. Nope. And I and you and Will drove it around a little bit, right? Yeah. That's why I get squirt all over the place. <laughs> um this motor actually has been rebuilt. In the past, not by you. Well, it's been used a little bit. Yeah, but okay. Not a lot. I think I think we got a good motor in here, Jace. Oh yeah. I think this is a good motor. But, um, what? This big drop to pull in there. Well, the, yeah, this has been an ongoing project since the engine blew. But, um, well, should we conclude the video right here? I think that's uh, all there is for right now. Yeah. Um, another video we'll be able to talk about camper stuff. Yep, we're going to have an update uh, later on. Not, you know, not right yet, but. And this is part of the. That's part of the. So. Oh! I'm definitely put this on the truck with the like we have. CB we're gonna have the C B clan in Tully now. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I have one, two, ten. Yeah, put it right on top. On top. But okay. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. And we'll see you later.